I want to talk about uh, fishing rods. You know, there's a million different rods that are made out of a million different things, and guess what? There's a million different fishermen out there. What I think is the most important thing is to find a rod that fits the way that you like to fish. So what I mean by that is everybody's different. I fish with people that don't set the hook at all. I fish with people that the whole boat shakes when they set the hook. Oh. So what, what I would recommend is that you match your fishing style and your hook set to the rods that you use. For an example, if, if, if you have a very strong hook set and you have braided line or fluorocarbon line on there, and you use a really stiff rod, you're gonna lose a lot of fish or you're gonna break your line a lot. So you have to have that perfect balance. If you have a very strong hook set, I would recommend that you use a more parabolic rod or a rod that doesn't have a really fast tip on it. And on the, on the flip side, if, if, if say, say you're older, say it's hard for you to set the hook or you just don't like jerking on them you know, that hard, then you're gonna need that faster action rod. You're gonna need a rod that's a little bit stiffer, that has a little more backbone. I mean, this rod's got a ton of give in it. Uh, it's real spongy, and I, and I love a composite rod for me when I'm fishing anything with treble hooks or like this bladed jig. I believe with this particular lure, this, this very limber composite rod allows that fish to get that blade, to get that hook deeper in, it, in his throat. And then when I hook that fish, it's got a real spongy feel to it and I feel like my hookup percentage is greater. I like to throw a bladed jig with fluorocarbon. Some people like to throw it on braid. Some people like to fish it in different types of cover. So all of those are factors that's gonna play in to what type of rod you should use for a given technique. But really there should be no set in stone, hey, this is a flipping stick. This is what this rod is good for. Cause it may be good for one person. It may not be good for another. So. For me personally, I love composite rods with any kind of treble hook lure or a bladed jig and even a jerk bait and top water occasionally because those are treble hook lures. And while, while it's not quite as light as a graphite rod, once I get that fish to bite, I like to get him into the boat. And that's what the composite rod allows me to do. My hookup percentage and, and catch percentage is greater than with a graphite rod. Now. You know, for me, flipping, uh, casting a worm, fishing offshore structure, uh, swim bait, anything like that with a single hook lure, where I have to drive that hook home, I like a graphite rod. And uh, depending on what type of line, depends on the type of action. Uh, for, for me, if I'm fishing any kind of fluorocarbon, it's gonna be a faster action rod. If I'm gonna fish braided line, it's gonna be a more parabolic rod. Look, I've been very fortunate. I've been fishing a long time. I make a living fishing. And you know, I, I have fine tuned things to the point where I pretty much have a rod for every technique. And uh, I feel like by having it that dialed in, that it, it gives me a greater chance to succeed on the water. But look, that's just not reality for your average fisherman though. Like if you're, you don't have to have a chatterbait rod or a flipping stick or, you know, there, there are some give and takes, but there are some rods that you could use and do everything with that, that are very good at doing it. It may not be the perfect tool, but it'll be a good tool. So what I would recommend uh, is it, not a very long rod. I would recommend like a seven foot moderate to fast action rod to a seven three, just a seven foot, a seven three. So, uh, you know, you don't have to go out and buy 20 roll poles is the point I'm trying to make. If you're just a beginner fisherman, you know, you don't have to have a hundred rods to go out here and catch fish. Just get you a good all around, all purpose rod, seven foot to seven three, medium heavy action. And uh, you, you can have a lot of fun, catch a lot of fish with just one pole.